So the recommendations for this Sephora VIB sale was a video that I really wasn't planning on doing. Um, considering everything that's going on right now, I know that there are so many people that are pinching pennies and just are having a really hard time making ends meet. So I was really kind of, kind of pulled as to whether or not I would do it. So what I have in my little basket today are things that I absolutely do love. They are very, very tried and true for me. They're things that I would repurchase if I ran out of them. I haven't really run out of too many of them yet, but they are things that I've tried. Most of these things are things that are like holy grail status. They're things that I've had for a long time, at least two years or more. And they're things that I really would recommend because I have had them for such a long time. So even if you're not really interested in the sale, maybe this is just like a window shopping experience for you. You know, sometimes I go past a boutique and I can't really afford what's in there, but I like to see what's in the window. So these are things that I just thought I would share with you. Let's dive into my recommendations for the Sephora VIB sale right now. And the first one is the Tatcha um, Silk Canvas Primer. This is a really wonderful primer. It comes as a pot and mine is like gone. I have little remnants over here of it. It's pretty much empty. I might get a trial size of this one. This one, everybody talks about the e.l.f. Putty Primer being a dupe for it. And I do feel like in consistency and texture and performance, it really is a very good dupe for it. However, the Tatcha does have a few more of the skin loving benefits in it. It does have a lot of skincare ingredients that are really good for you. So if you've been thinking about wanting to try this, I really liked it a lot. I did find the dupe for it, but you can purchase it also in a mini size to see if it's something that you might like. But if you're somebody that likes that kind of primer that blurs out makeup, but still feels a little bit hydrating, it feels cooling on the skin, it fills in those pores and makes makeup set or foundation set very beautifully, then you would really like that one. The next one is a foundation that I've actually pretty recently fell in love with probably I probably got this six weeks ago. It is the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra Rescue Moisturizing Makeup with a, a broad spectrum SPF of 45. This is a very, very beautiful foundation on the skin. It's great for my dry skin because it is very hydrating. It doesn't make me look dry at all. As a matter of fact, it does give that dewy finish on my skin. If you're an oily skin gal, I probably would steer clear of this, but if you're normal to dry, I think that you're gonna love this. It also lasts all day long on me. It was so pretty on the skin. Now I will say that it didn't set down. It really had that dewy finish kind of all through the day. So I did have to powder, you know, the areas where I have breakthrough sometimes when I get a little bit of a power surge hot flash or whatever, I had to powder through here. And I did powder down just the areas that um, I, where I have big pores and I really don't like my skin look there. But other than that, it had the most perfecting look on my skin and I just really liked it. And I'll make sure that I list all of the colors and everything. This is a really good color for me. Um, I'm not self tanning right now. This is just my natural color. So this color was perfect for it. If you're somebody that has a close skin tone that like I do. And then two of my very favorite concealers for dry, mature, aging, crepey, very, very dry under eyes. The first one is from Tarte and it's the creaseless concealer. This they repackage, it was the Maracuja concealer, the one that was in the squeeze tube like the It Cosmetics, but they repackaged it and they put it in the format of having a doe foot applicator, which I have talked about pretty much ever since they repackaged it, how much I love it. And everybody that used to use the other one really likes it, really liked it too. The thing about this is that if you are somebody that has a tendency to sweat under your eyes or you have a lot of creasing under your eyes, that kind of thing, you might not like this because it is an extremely creamy formula. But I find that the biggest thing for me is that I just use such a teeny tiny amount. It's actually that way with any concealer these days because I do have such deep creases from having such big smile lines through there and now, you know, getting such dry skin and crepey skin underneath there. So that one is one that I use all the time and I love, but I also love the It Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage anti-aging waterproof concealer. And I don't know if there are a lot of anti-aging ingredients in, in this that are super beneficial. 
I just really like the way this plays with my under eyes and, and what it does as far as really giving me wonderful coverage. Both of these are full coverage, but both of them are an extremely thick product. They're not thin at all. So if you're somebody that leans towards that, that you want something thin, you don't have that bad of dark circles, that kind of thing, this might not be for you, but my issues are super dark circles, lots of creasing and lots of crepey dry skin under there. And these both work fantastic. As a matter of fact, they work about the same. So you could, you know, look at either one and possibly get either one. But I do have a tutorial where I talk about using the it one tiny, tiny, tiny bit goes such a long ways. And it's that way for all of these ones that are more on the moisturizing side or actually the very, very creamy side of being a concealer, but I love both of those. And then a powder that I can recommend that I loved when I picked it up. This is the Veil Setting Powder from Hourglass. I love the packaging on this. It is just a very luxe packaging. I feel like I've had this for such a long time, but I love that the delivery system, it gets a little bit in there, right in this little dome thing that sits here inside of the other Rock, concave thing, not dome, concave. And it does pick up powder just about the right amount you need on your face. And then you can dust it around. It's really beautiful. It does not get cakey. It just melds with your foundation and it looks gorgeous. I've watched a lot of YouTubers that have said that this is perfect for setting their under eyes. I really can't recommend that because I don't set with this underneath my eyes because I find that it is just a little bit, looks a little bit too drying after I get it on under the eyes, but everywhere else it's so pretty. So it's very refined, it's very soft, and it is very blurring when you put it on your face and you're not gonna feel like you have a cake face. It's just very sheer and very um, lightweight on that. So like that one very, very much. This is kind of out of order, but I do talk about this one just about every Sephora favorites video that I do or recommendations video I do. It's the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream Lots of people say boom, boom. I don't know. I think I'm going to write the company and find out how it's actually said. But this is a great cream for being super hydrating. I don't use this on my boom, boom, but I do use it on my hands and my legs. And the scent is just heavenly. It's very tropical, very beachy, very vanilla type scent. Almost like, um, not really coconutty. I don't really smell the coconut, but I do smell a lot of the vanilla and that tropical fragrance that you get from sun tanning oil. So this one's really good for me. I have a lot of crepey skin now that I've lost weight. So my skin is really kind of, you know, crepey and nasty from just being, you know, kind of squishy skin. And this seems to do the trick as far as holding the hydration throughout the day. So I really do love this cream. I have repurchased it several times. It's not a cream that I use every single day because of its price point, but it's a cream that I love to pamper with after I get out of the shower and just make sure that my skin is super hydrated. So I really do like that a lot. And then this one I have been recommending for years as well from Marc Jacobs. This this is the um, Tantastic Omega Bronzer, and it's a huge pan, you guys. First of all, the packaging is so pretty on it. It's all white packaging, and it has a huge mirror in it. The mirror is as big as this right here. So if you're using it for travel or whatever, you're gonna have it, and it's gonna just do you great because you can see your whole face in that mirror. It's so big. But then the product inside of here is so wonderful. As a matter of fact, I meant to tell you guys that everything that I'm talking about today, I do have on my face. It's the makeup today. So if you're asking about any of the products, how they look on the face, you can see it on the face today, <laughs> just so you know. And this one is no different than any other powder I've ever seen from him. It's just so good. And it's not too orangey or warm and it's not too cool or muddy. It's just that really beautiful spot between the two. And I just think that for warm warming up the face and making you look like you've got a beautiful bronzed look. It's just perfect. And it blends out so seamlessly about just about any time I've ever picked it up. Even if I feel like I've gotten too much on, I can continue to buff and it just looks so natural. And it gives that warmth to your skin and it just makes you look just really, really pretty. So this is one that I do recommend. And this 
And this one has kind of lost its scent because I bought it like when it first came out, but it does come with that coconutty fragrance that the Physicians Formula one has as well. So if you don't like fragrance, you might not like that one either. As far as blushes go, I have a tendency to stick with drugstore because I feel like drugstore blush is just about the same as high end. But when it comes to Clinique and their cheek pops, I really do like them very much. And I have finally started making pretty good dents in both of these blushes. Now this one is in Heather Pop and this one is in Pansy Pop. And these are like the never ending blushes when you get them. They're blushes that you can work and work and work to try and pan and you don't because they're such a pretty pigment but they last such a long time. So the Heather Pop is one that I feel like is just a universal pretty pink that just about anybody could wear um, on their skin. So that's Heather Pop. And then Pansy Pop, I feel like is one of those cool tone blushes. And that's the one I actually have on today is Pansy Pop mixed with that Tantastic a little bit of the Omega Bronzer. And it looks very purple or very lavender when I'm gonna show, you, show it to you on my skin right here. But you guys, as far as it blending out into something beautiful, it just, it's gorgeous on the skin. It doesn't show up that purple tone, especially if you are a cool toned person, you're going to absolutely love it because it goes with so many looks. Like if you're trying to do a very neutral eye and you want your cheeks to be a little bit brighter, or if you're trying to do a very smoky, um, cool toned eye where you're going with the grays. This goes so good with it So if you're somebody that's very cool toned, beautiful beautiful blush in the pansy pop But this one right here in the Heather pop I just think it's just a gorgeous color for just about anybody and it's the one that I reach for So many times I'm actually trying to pan this one this year We'll see what happens But it's the one that I reach for so many times and just can wear it with any look that whether I go a little bit warmer neutral or cool so love those blushes so much and then i'm going to tell you again how much i love this sephora collection this is one of their color colorful cheek products this is the contour in second chance i'm not going to open this because well i'm going to open it and i'm going to swatch it for you guys but this is shattered i'm getting ready to get my a new one because this one is just basically it's gone and I need a new one, but it does come with a little tiny mirror in there. And then, you know, the packaging is really nice as well. But what I love about it, and I just got a big chunk of it, so that's why it did that. But this is the most beautiful, cool, muddy contour I have ever found. If you are somebody that has a really hard time finding a contour color that can look like a shadow, this is it. This is beyond anything I've ever tried. It is just the perfect contour. I place it to give me a carved out cheekbone to go along my jawline to make my jawline look a little bit more pronounced and less droopy right here with my gels. And then also in my hairline to help my forehead not look so high. This is so good. I love how long it lasts. It will be there when I take off my makeup at night, no matter what time I apply it. And it does blend out so pretty and it just gives the perfect shade of contouring. I do have several videos on contouring. I'll link a couple of them so you can look at this in action, but yeah, really, really a good one. And then into highlighter, and I'm only gonna mention one highlighter this time. I could go on forever about highlighters, but what I buy from Sephora is usually just Becca, and I absolutely had to have this one when it came out, not just because of its name, Prismatic Amethyst, but because the product inside is so pretty, even though right here it's looking like it's kind of pink it has this unique shift about it but it's a very icy pinky lavender color i'm wearing it on as my lid color today and it just is such a beautiful color for that and then i also have it a little bit on the cheeks what i like about it is that it's not that high beam color that everybody is looking for right now it's more along the lines of just giving you that significance between the highlight and the low light. You know, your low light is your contour and then your highlight should be something that is not necessarily um, strobing, just something that gives your skin a lighting, lighted look or a lit look. And that's what that does. If you're very dark, that might not work for you, but 
as far as what my skin does, I would say anybody from very, very fair to medium, almost tan skin tone could use this. And you could always use it on your eyelids like I do because it is so brightening and it's so pretty. But yeah, this is one of my favorites that I go back to over and over again. Now, when we're talking about the eyes, I every single time I do an eye tutorial for you guys, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills primer for eyeshadow primer. And the reason is, is because it is very opaque. It's got a white cast to it. And it doesn't matter how bad my eyes look, if they look super red, if they look super veiny, it don't matter. That is just going to take out any discoloration and it's gonna make that um, eyeshadow just pop because of the color. But the other thing is the way that it grips is phenomenal. And they are only selling this size, which is the mini size, but I think I've had this for almost a year, you guys. And I do my makeup at least every day. I may take one or two days off a week, but I do my makeup and this stuff lasts all day long. I mean, it holds that um, eyeshadow on there all day long. I don't go in first with another powder to, you know, like set my eyeshadow primer down. I just go in with my eyeshadow. I feel like it grips better that way. So this one is a no brainer for me. I actually have a backup already of this one, but I love the way that it grips and I love the way that it also takes care of any discoloration. It's so good. So the eyeliners that I'm gonna recommend if you've been with me any amount of time should not come as any surprise. And that is the Marc Jacobs highliners. And yes, they are along the lines of being high-end luxury, that type of thing. So they're, they're kind of spendy, but what I love about them is they do stay in the waterline very good and if you're going to put those on you know as just an eyeliner underneath the eyes or on top of the eyes they're going to be there and they are so creamy and so buttery and so I put them across here and these are the colors I have this one right here is blacker that is the black one that is just a beautiful it's not a matte black so you guys know it's more of a satiny color so that is blacker and then the next one to it is rococo that is right there and it is a deep brown but it's more along the lines of it's not really their darkest brown they do have another one that it's quite a bit darker so this is more along the lines of a chocolate brown color and then the next one right here is fine wine that one is a true red with a beautiful undertone of blue I can wear it occasionally on my eyes if I'm really careful about what I'm wearing. But what I find about this and why I loved it so much is that matte color and that blue undertone that just makes it look so pretty. And again, just so stunningly creamy. I can't even begin to tell you guys. The next one right there is called Blue Me Away. It is a very light blue color and it is a shimmer color but it looks very pretty in the water line. And I like that to put that one in the water line. And then we have, let's see, this one is plumage. It is a purple. Now that is a very deep dusky purple. It's not a bright purple at all. And then the last one that is on my arm so far is wavelength. Gorgeous, gorgeous bright blue on there. It's not really a cobalt blue. It's a little bit darker than that, but in the water line, it's beautiful. And then this is my very favorite color from them. And this is called Jasmine. It is just this beautiful muted mauve color. It's not really a brown. It's not really a red. It's not really a pink or a purple. It's just like this in between color that I just think is so pretty. And they are so creamy. And the other thing that I love about them is I have had these for quite a while. They last a long time, but these lids fit on so tightly that you're not going to have drying out where you have to just chuck them which I think is a great thing. And you know, so if you're sanitizing in between times when you need to or sanitizing your makeup every however long, I don't know, I usually try to sanitize all of my makeup at least every two to three months. But, um, and by the way, so I'm gonna have somebody ask me, how do you sanitize your makeup? Spray bottle full of rubbing alcohol and just lightly spritz it across any makeup you want to, you've got it completely sanitized. So another tip for you guys. But these are really, really good and I definitely wanted to make sure that I talked to you about them. And then my actual favorite purple from high end from the drugstore is the Urban Decay 24 seven. This one is called Vice. This is a bright, bright purple and it looks fantastic in the waterline. I am wearing it in my waterline today and I absolutely love it. So those ones are ones that I do recommend to you guys. And then the, the actual mascara that I'm wearing today is from Smashbox. This is their Super Fan Mascara. I've been wearing this for the past, I would say probably the past week on upper and lower. And surprisingly, 
I'm not having any smudging. I have always had smudging underneath here like crazy because you know as i get um hot flashes you tend to sweat right there so i'm so glad that i have this because it isn't smudging at all no matter how much i'm sweating so really do like it i guess i could show you guys the brush on it the brush is different than all those hourglass ones that we're seeing lately it's just you know very kind of curved out and then you know tapered off so it does really good about getting those little hairs or those little eyelashes underneath your eyes right there and catching them all and getting all the ones inside there so i've really been enjoying this one and i've also been enjoying how enjoying how it fans everything out and it keeps my curl in place and then i'm only going to mention one palette because it's the palette i have on and really it's the only high-end palette as of right now that i've been using a ton and going back to and enjoying so so much and yes i know there are dupes for this this is the huda beauty new nudes palette this a couple of years ago i think was my number one palette and you know what every single time i go back into it i still feel that way about it i still feel the, feel the excitement about this palette and i am wearing it as my eyeshadow look today um, i'm wearing this color right here with the peach the dusty rose right there this one is a very almost like a mauvey rose color and then this one in the crease to darken it up a little bit and then this one on the outer V to darken it up quite a bit but I do love this they're so creamy they're buttery but I would not have put these two sparkles in here I think they're a waste that glitter is a waste but these ones right here that look like they have the marbled effect on them they're so pretty and they go on the eyes just so metallic and so buttery and so creamy and I just think that it's one that you really just can't go wrong with as far as, you know, grabbing it and getting it. I have not been a big fan of her palettes before. I didn't get Mercury in Retrograde. I've heard that it's fantastic too, like this one. But as far as for me and how much I love the berry tones, the purple tones, mauves, this one is just one that I really, really am glad that I got, even though it was so expensive. <laughs> Lastly, I have talked ad nauseum that's my favorite word ad nauseum about the sephora rouge gel lip liners i am going to order me a couple more colors this time these are so good you guys today i have bellflower on as my um, liner and then i just popped in the middle of it a urban decay lipstick that i'll show you in a second but these are super duper creamy i've shown you these before in but in videos as well i'm running out of all kinds of space here that one's bellflower bellflower is a gorgeous mauve wild at heart is like a brownie mauve color kind of brownish mauve color the next one is rum raisin it is one of my favorites to wear just because I can pair that with just about any lipstick and it's cool toned and it just brings out just this gorgeous, cool effect on your lips where you can get that really great pout about it. And then this one is called Hot Sauce. It's not red. <laughs> I don't know why they called it Hot Sauce, but it's kind of along the lines of a, a cocoa color as well. It's just a really pretty color to pair with nude pinks. I just think it's so great. So these are some that are really creamy. They do last for me a long time, but they act more like lip sticks than they do actual lip liners that are a little bit more harsh on my lips and that's I think the reason that I like them so much is because they are very creamy and I don't have any tugging across my lips but yeah those are just gorgeous I'm totally running out of room on my arms so let's talk about gloss this is empty this is my Sephora I think it's the volumizing lip gloss or volume something like that anyway they just came out with a bunch of new colors they came out with like seven new colors and i'm going to try a couple of these they get it gives you such the prettiest pout i love the pout that it gives you it's so juicy i love them because they are so close to the buxom ones it's not that same cooling effect that you get from the buxom ones a little bit but not as much and i just love how pretty and how pouty your lips look with it because it's so juicy and it's not too sticky but it's not so thin that it's going to wear off it's going to be there for quite a long time so i do love that one and i have not tried tons and tons of lipsticks from sephora or from high end but the ones that i do actually love are the urban decay vice lipsticks and um, i didn't name these so if there's names in here that offend anybody i apologize in advance because i have gotten that before where people were not happy with me but this one is called backfire and i really enjoyed that one it's just kind of a mauvey very cool tone deep 
color there and, and then this one is called native and this is the one that i have in the middle of my lips so i i did bellflower with native in the middle and then a little gloss on top of it um, this one is a matte i believe and then this one is back talk back talk is a color that i can pop on no matter what i'm wearing and be so comfortable in it that one is back talk and then this next one is Rapture. This is a gorgeous fall color. Very deep color, very deep rosy color, and I love it. It's just one of those ones that feels so nice on the lips. I believe that that one is a cream one. Here's the one, Violet. This one, I know, I know you guys, it's not a name that everybody, yeah, but it's it's a beautiful, beautiful color. If you like to occasionally wear those orchid colors, that's what that is. It does have a shimmer in it, but it is that cool tone color. So pretty. I'm and sorry, I got those two mixed up. This one is violet. It's kind of a very um, cool toned pink color, kind of a mid-tone color rose uh definitely a true blue pink color and then that one is um violet which was the one that i did show you right there which has the purple in it or the orchid color in it and that is it for today's video that is all of my recommendations for sephora that's everything that i love that i have that, that if i lost it tomorrow i would go back and i would repurchase them and they're all over there. It just looks like a lovely little drawing palette. I'm like a master of the swatches, right? Okay, you guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for hanging with me and window shopping with me today on the Sephora VIB sale. If you guys are picking up anything specific, let me know in the comment section below. I'm only gonna be picking up a couple of things myself, but there are a couple of things that I've seen recently that I did wanna try for you guys. And there are things that I wanna try and dupe for you guys as well. So I hope that you're all having a great day. Please everyone stay safe, stay sanitized. Love you bunches and bunches, and I'll see you all in my next video. Take care, bye-bye.